And we're live. Uh, animated. Okay. Uh, are you talking All about right, and Fritz this thing is live too. Oh, dude, a fucking boarding. love Fritz the cat, dude. I saw, I saw Fritz the cat ah, it made me horny. That was my favorite show. No, dude, I just legitimately like it. I think it's funny as shit. This is, this is the favorite one. It's taught me being a social justice warrior will get me laid. He didn't even all that much. Like the the fucking yes. what was the name of the the crow in the pool hall he was talking to? The, 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 uh, Bertha, and he got uh, I think it was like Frida Frida Fox, and uh, so he got <laughs> two women, and throughout the entire movie now. Oh that... ah, well, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So it gets you it gets you somewhere, but not as much as you think it will. I don't know. I I I love the hell oh, out yeah, of it. I'll be right back. Well, I'm listening now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I need to find, like, a DVD I... copy or something of it. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be covered in different stains. Uh, you're gonna end up buying the wrong version, too. It's gonna be Nine Lives instead of the original one. I mean, that one is the funny clip about Satan being gay in it. it it's got the rapping God scene in it. It is the what now? Uh, you said he was, like, he was, like, in heaven rapping with God. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. He was talking to a homeless dude on the street. He's like, wow, I can't believe you'd be yeah. out here rapping with God, man. <laughs> yeah, <it's> that. <laughs> All right, let's stop talking about this shit. Let's get to Werewolf. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I like it. Okay. Right, we're, all right, we're here. We're making another one of these. Mm -hmm. Nobody should be watching this, but now we are. Well, now we do, because the we fucking 5e video got a whole lot of traction. Yeah, as of right now, that video has 430 views, and we got the search engine optimization, and we're beating uh, we're beating channel name. I think it's called Clinic, but cl cl Clinic something Clinic. I don't Clinic. know. All I What's know is that people are watching us now, and that's the that's the thing. It's the, that's yeah, well, that's we, good. Yeah, but in our we got the we got the like and dislike ratio to prove it too. <laughs> I I didn't check the dislikes actually. I I was going to, but I well, forgot. Yeah, yeah, because you're a pussy. You don't want to see it. No, it's not that. It's just I didn't feel yeah. like it. Well, that and I forgot. We got four, four hundred fifteen from clinic hours and four hundred thirty-four from our video. Sick. We're already pulling ahead of an established YouTuber. We're doing good, baby. That's how it goes. All right. I also, Operation Get More Views than Porter was a success because he didn't upload a five E video. Yeah, you were you were like giving me shit about it's like. No, it has to be about the integrity. And I'm like, well, what was the main goal of this? Is like, get more views than Porter? I was like, okay, then we did our job. The, 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 the main point of my of the video was feeling my grudge that I'm dragging you guys into. Well, thank you very kindly. <laughs> we appreciate it. We needed that drama right. in our lives. It was delicious. All right, to introduce you guys, mm. this is Ham. He's playing... This is Kyle. Yo. He's playing as Tyler Bassett. This is oh, my Sean. He's loaded. playing as Reynard. This is Ryan. He's playing as Grim. And this is Elmira, uh, played by Meepian. Yeah, that that uh, fits out a lot for me. So the people at home are going to be very confused yeah. for the first couple minutes of the game. Uh, well, well, who who's jumping into the fifth episode? That not having not watched the first four. Whoever I send this video to, because whenever we put a right. video up, I always advertise it. Whoever I can, just just yeah. because. And even though you don't need to watch our get, ah, voice crack. I've been shouting at the top of my lungs all damn day, and my voice is cracking. Maybe you should stop voice shouting. Voice crack. Drink some water. Drink your oiter. It's good for I you. I am. All right. All right. So, so my voice is going to break a bunch during this episode because I was shouting my head off at work earlier today. Oh, stop yelling. Uh, so, also, I need Got to communicate with three different spirits. One for Grim and two for Chico when we get done with this. Alright. And the spirit kill lock has been updated. Yes. We're, go we're gonna leave the Silent Hill music going on for a little bit. Alright. Let's pull up the spirit catalog. Let's start the episode with that. Yes. So, catalog, here it is. Uh, Okay. Grim, say the line. Grim, say the line. About about He's the muted. cuckoo bird. Say the line. You can do it, Did buddy. Did you say B or B? 
the, I'm putting a gun to her head right now. Yeah, look at the spirit catalog and look at Cuckoo. Or Cuckoo. Is it Cuckoo Shit. or Cuckoo? <laughs> what the fuck are you... No. Imagine getting <laughs> cut by... Funny bird. There you oh, go. Yeah. Bird. We did it, fellas. Funny bird. We oh. did it. Imagine getting, imagine getting cut by the Cuckoo bird. How, how the fuck does that work? I think I'm all set. Yeah, I think you need to ask the yep. uh, ask the Corax about nah, that. Nah, I was gonna say how a cuckoo bird cocks you, it kills your children and replaces it with its own. Oh yeah, that yes. is what they do, isn't it? <laughs> I yeah, forgot it's really about that. Up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I I ended up fucking up our recommendations on our YouTube channel. I was looking up bird videos, and now our our channel's filled with cuckoo bird videos. Well, I forgot to turn off the search history on uh, on the Galliar channel because like. I, I feel yeah, like we so, only use that for uploads. Yeah, so I'm getting recommendations of, like, owls eating other owls. That's kind of fucked videos. up. <laughs> Birds of prey, dude. I'm aware. Okay. I am uh, making the, the handout. So, yeah, funny birds. Yes, and we got There's a one in here we need to contact stuff. in particular. What is that? <clears throat> uh... Reinhard, who are we supposed to call? Sorry, I missed you. Who are we supposed to call? What, what, what spirit? Um. You took a gift between sessions, and it requires a specific spirit that we talk to. I guess who you need to talk to us. Me. Yeah. Uh, um. I gotta remember. <laughs> Fuck me! I a thought mouse. you were supposed to be the sharp one to grow up. Oh, you're a mouse. Oh, that's right. It was a, it was a mouse. All you're right. correct. Yes. You gotta find a mouse. Okay, And we're so. in a sewer, so this should be easy enough. <clears throat> Approach him in ham and farm. That should be too hard for you. Well, actually, no, wait. So, because I'm the third, I, I gotta do it, don't I? Yes, you've gotta do it, and you gotta have the guy who wants to learn the gift with you to negotiate with it. All right. So you need to shift into human form, and Rayner needs to shift into human form, and you both need to step sideways. Give me that gnosis roll. All right, cool. Uh, All right. I will shift back into human real quick. Uh, forms, Hamid, and gnosis difficulty. Difficulty, you are in a you are in thick weaver territory. Difficulty seven. Okay. Fight. Remember something. But I pinned a post here. Found the macro. The fuck. Found an. Right. That wow. sucks. Alright, so paste this. Alright, you see that? Yep. We don't need to click this anymore. You can just modify the number of D10s, and the difficulty is that number that's outside the little, um, outside the arrow. All right. And that is your little macro to use for this. Save that. That's very useful to have with us. All right, put that in there. Oh, oh, wow, that's neat. Okay. Behold. That's Behold. What's the plus three for? Uh, plus three. I think somebody accidentally did a th something. Oh no! Oh no! We're not supposed to have a plus three anyway. Oh. Uh, not, plus three is not supposed to be there. We're doing a damage roll in D and D. Oh, yeah, it was it was Dusty's damage roll, I remember. No, it was uh, Dungeon of Mad Mage. Oh, okay. Yeah, Quar, uh, Quar was casting a spell, Sean. That's how we figured out that macro. Oh, I see. That makes sense. All right. So, Reinhard, you are covered in weaver webs. You're trying to sideways step, and you're all just sitting here in the sewer, chilling. And, Grammy, look over, and... Reynard's doing the thing again where he's just standing still not moving and meanwhile you're seeing Tyler slowly flash in and out in and out of reality as he's stepping sideways yep <clears throat> no toy like a present so he's stuck alright what sound did mice make forget <laughs> alright this is going on you see this the Nostratu from before is screaming down these stairs and she slides into the generator room and closes the door behind her. Okay. Well, I mean, we weren't going to kill her anyway. 
And yeah. she hides. All right. Oh. Okay. And. How do I find my ammo? What? What? See, so put the little, put the little squiggly lines on you to indicate that you're in the Umbra. I did not take anything in animal kinetics. This is going to be rough. All right. You gotta be as non-threatening as possible. Don't talk with your hands. It threatens the college kids. All right. I can do that. Uh, right. Right. So here's the thing. You're in a sewer. Yeah. You look with your special eyes. Special eyes. Sorry, special eyes. Special eyes. Oh, I've got a... Uh, special eyes. You should be able to find this. I've got acute senses and second size. That's clairvoyance, though. Alright, what do I need to roll to find so, a mouse? Well, just walk through the sewer. Eventually, you will find one. Alright. They like to hide on pipes, don't they? That's the thing to do. kept that woman alive, right? The, the vampire? Yes, yes but you are very upset about Grim. I am super upset about <laughs> Yeah, she's an Osferati. Shouldn't hurt anybody. Wait, uh, oh, Grim stepped sideways too, didn't he? <clears throat> yep. Oh, not in to the, the, the thing. Not the Umbra? No. Not, not him, it's Reynard who's trying, and Reynard, as you look behind you, is nowhere to be seen. Oh, shite. I need a way for him to fucking get here. A little hung up. Alright, I'll fucking pray for him. I, I uh, am... Uh, Ch Chico and Elmira, you're standing here. You see that Reynard is just frozen in time. Okay. <laughs> Elmira, can he see you while he's stuck like this? I don't see why he couldn't. See, if you were to wave your hand in his face, how much would be able to see? It would probably look like a strobe light. As we know, Reynard has an incredible concentration. I would imagine that this is like a pausing uh, video mid, mid frame, and like my face like just stops in like the stupidest position. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, Tyler, if you poke Reynard, he may re-roll his nurse's roll. All right, I will poke Reynard. Come on, you can do it, big right, man. We're going to make the roll again, as you can see. You can see his outline in the spider webs as he's stuck here. I might need to consult Digital Eye for uh, for a, for a Hamid form of Tyler sometime in the near future. And, and Grandma's <laughs> walking around and he's going, Man, I'm so fucking mad. I'm so mad. I want to kill somebody. I'm so mad. And oh, Reynard uh, finally steps out, please. Tyler! I thought you got her better at noses. I thought so as well. Right, right. Let's phone your mouse. Alright. Uh, two of you are looking. Grim, I see you're moving around. Yeah, he just moves around. <laughs> you're looking for it's something Asian. to kill. Yep. Oh, check it off the pipe. Does he have a track on any there. vampires? Yeah. Or do I need to do another heightened senses? Let's see, uh, heightened uh, heightened senses. You don't need to do. You still smell vampire. Uh, just give me a perception and primal urge roll to pick up the chill. Perception and primal urge. I yeah. have that right here. Holy shit! <laughs> Eight successes. Graham, we know the exact location of Ragnar now. You're smelling motorcycle fumes, gasoline. You know that smell. You know what smells like when it's coming from a bike muffler? This guy's close. He's very close. Oh, fuck me. We're gonna fight him today. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> He's close. Wait, was the mission um, to actually kill him or just intercept him? I think it depends on... on yeah. Uh, Honey Badger wants us to kill him, and Dionysus wants us to capture him. You mean Bacchus? Uh, well, Grim's in the kill category right now. Yeah, he has by many names. Oh, yeah. 
Dionysus and Bacchus are the same dude. Oh. Bacchus, Dionysus. He went by one other name that started with an M. He was he's known in some circles as Shiva. Shiva H Vishnu. Uh I would like to Well he's not he's not he's not the Shiva, but he identified uh he stole his name, so to speak. <laughs> Identity theft based. Yep. <laughs> um speaking of tracking. Is there a way that I could try to pick up the scent of this mouse? Yes, you could pick up her left foot and look beneath it. I pick up my left foot and look beneath it. And there's a mouse. Oi, shit. Uh, Tyler's going to get down low. He's going to just plant his... He's going to put his hands, like, behind him to make himself look as non-threatening as possible. <laughs> just look at this mouse. <laughs> what? <laughs> Roll... Charisma and Animal Kin difficulty six. Ah, fuck. Oh, please, Zar, don't you let me fuck. You have a lot of charisma, though. Don't let me fuck this up. And the dice are rolling very slowly. Ah, oh, come the fuck on. Uh, uh, what, what, what the fuck do you gotta be so scary for? It ran away. Fuck me. Just gonna take a minute. Well, we can always find another one. We just need to walk around the sewer more. All right, this I'm gonna is gonna smirk be a at, uh, shit. Um, I'm gonna smirk at Tyler and say, "I thought you were supposed to be good at these." Oh, do you know? <laughs> yes, with other werewolves, I am not as rodents. <laughs> and raccoons, and raccoons. Let's keep looking. That's how I got my gift. <laughs> Speaking of, I need to find an alleyway when we get up to outside. Uh, looking around, looking around, it's looking it. around. As, as the two of you keep looking. Uh, Chico, you look over your shoulder, you see that, uh, <clears throat> Jaden is squatting. He's got those three yellow rings, and you see he's flicking them with his talon again. After Grim said that he smells Ragnar around here. You see he's looking around, he holds it to his eye. He looks upwards. Oh, I see him. Bike. I see. I see where he is. I see where Are he we is. He is judging the distance. He is about 50, 50 meters to the south of us. So what's he holding for the mass anyway? See, he is currently above us. Is this a way out? See, uh, the way out is further south. Further south. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing this is south. Yes, just keep going south. Uh, I'm not quite. And the pack off is on the move. Oh, oh well, well, Mara, there he goes. Oh shit. Good old Grim. Yes. I give off a hunting howl. Yes. Matt, I think uh, I think we need to leave the mouse hunting for another time. Your elf is running away. See. All right, and Grim, you're sucking yourself up for a fight. I'm giving you a point of rage. <clears throat> and as you're saying that, behold, Reynard, another mouse. Holy shit! What happened to my honor? I have no honor. Yep. You, you are very dishonorable. Right. Uh, let's try it again. Uh, same thing. Try to make myself look unthreatening. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's... Make that roll again. That forty ten roll. All right. Ah, uh, that's better. All right. Well, this time the mouse sees you as you're coming up, so the mouse just stands and looks at you. You see, it stands on its back legs as it looks up at you. We need you to do us a favor. Not a big favor. I might need a gift. Can you teach us a gift? What? Hey, you gotta whisper me. Hey, you gotta whisper. My friend needs a gift. Yes. It'll help, It'll help us defend Mother Gaia. Help defend your home. What is a gift? What is it? Uh, let me look it up. Reynard, what gift is it? It's gift. Hold on, I just had it. 
What's pretend do I hear? It is. Where did I put it? There it is. Uh, taking the forgotten. The Ragabash with this gift can steal something from a target, and his victim will forget that she ever possessed the stolen item. A mouse spear teaches this gift. Taking the forgotten. Can you help us with that? Yes, yes, yes. Taking, taking the forgotten. Uh, yeah, yeah, give me something. What can I give him? Anything. Uh. What do I have on me? I don't got much. Uh, well, I do have the pl I do have the fake plastic ring, but that means Raccoon's gonna be upset. But this is for the pack, so I will give him the plastic ring. All right, you cash it in now. He'll take the ring and put it on his tail. I don't know, I think, think of that. Here, here you go. And with that, you see he reaches into his chest, pulls out this tiny little bead of light, and pulls it back and tosses it right into Raccoon's chest. There you are. You're gifted. You're welcome. Give a little bow and say, thank you both. And the rat runs away. Right. Now then, the pack half is running off. I assume to fight vampire by himself. A very strong vampire. So, let's get back out of here. Alright, uh, Gnosis roll. Right. Well, Gnosis, there's two of your boy Gnosis. Chico, I'm assuming you're giving chase. Yeah, Chico is gonna give a chase, but he's gonna keep in Hamid for her. seven. Let's see, go run after. And Reinhard is currently going nowhere. Uh, there we go, Tyler. You immediately shift over. All right, and I'll go back to into Crime Rose form. Yeah. Or Crinus. There we go. Yep. Uh, Almira, Tyler has returned. Jaden has gone into. Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't remember the actual name, but he goes into raven form and flies after uh, Chico and uh, Grim. Uh, Tyler's going to roll his eyes and then reach over to touch uh, Reynard's silhouette again. Come on. Uh, Reynard, make another roll. And he eventually comes over. It just takes a minute. There you go. Come on. We're going to go chase down your wolf. I'm having difficulty moving my character. It, it, I, when I grab it to move it, it just kind of drags the screen instead. Why is it right? Do you have the uh, pan selected? What uh, is the that? Little, uh, it's the little hand that's directly under the our mouse tool on the bar. A hand on... under the mouse tool on the bar. No, I don't even see that. Oh, okay, uh, then mine does that occasionally where it'll automatically set me in that mode. Usually a refresh helps. Okay, let's try that. Alright. Refresh the page. Wonderful. Alright. Uh, Tyler? You, you refresh me to Council of Worms. Ah, uh, oh, what the flip? Ah, you done fuckled it. I love roll 20. <laughs> we at yeah, least I... they have... At least we have proper measurement tools now. Oh, that's pretty neat. It, it's very easy to make uh, spell AoEs now. Oh, yeah, is uh, that... Did they update that? What is uh, that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they updated it. Yeah, check it out. You see that? Yeah, how do, you, how do you do that? I've never seen that before. It... it, it yeah, show all the folks at home how that works. So you go to uh, your measure tool. Yep. And then it should pop up a second menu now. Uh, so. No, I just have the basic ones. Maybe I need to refresh the page. Either that or you have to update to the new uh, UI interface. Oh, well, I'll do that later. And this is one of these symbols that makes absolutely no sense to me. I like the glyphs and werewolf. I also hate them at the same time because them just don't look like anything. Is it time it took us to have this conversation? I drew what the rat sigil looks like, and it looks like this. And this doesn't look like anything to me. 
Uh, it looks like a three, and then an X, and then a line. If anybody's watching this and knows what the rat symbol is supposed to be, please explain in the comments. Yeah, I've got nothing on that. Right. Let's go hunt a vampire. It, it's like the... What's a, what's a shrub that has a really bad sigil? Uh, the, the Wendigo sigil. I have no fucking idea what it's supposed to be. I don't think we are, because it's the werewolf tongue. It's the, gar it's the Garug spelling. And you can blame all people for that. Why is the necropolis up there? Because uh, I always... That's, that's there for the weather effect. Oh, is it? So it was now... Yeah. That is and it's now even universe. darker. Well, because it's night time out. So... Reynard, you keep running? No, not Reynard. Grim, you keep running. Grim, you eventually reach a manhole. You climb, you climb it, and your head peeks out. Your your skull, your neck is strong enough that you just lift the sewer lid. You have a little suit manhole hat as you look around. <laughs> yeah, this is how we know we're in the end times. There's stars in the street. Well, no, I can say it's uh, Curfew. Seems that curfew's in place. And you're next to it. You're next to my least favorite thing in the world. A 15-minute city gate. A what? Uh, do we know what this is, Grim? This is a bit of a sophisticated, weavery idea. Which you like to roll intelligence and... Do I want this to be... Intelligence and technology. So, so a 1d10 roll. Difficulty 8. See, what? Let me see that dice result. Uh, hey, actually did it. <laughs> nice. So, uh, Grim, do you want to ha have visited Rome or Vienna? Uh, ooh. Rome. You have been to Rome before, and Rome has done the peanut city gate. This is a little checkpoint, but they've just said, hey, there's a road here for years. Let's build a wall in the middle of this road that blocks the road, and we're going to turn it into a checkpoint where you need to scan your identification in order to pass through it. On foot or in car, or on bike. That sounds like oh, a I see sock. another manhole cover beyond yeah. it. You can see beyond it, it is three layers of glass that make up the 15-minute city checkpoint. It is what separates downtown Brooklyn from... Sean, I forget the name of the district that's right next to downtown Brooklyn. Right. It doesn't matter too much. Right. And as you're here, you can feel Chico poking your leg, asking you to get up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the manhole cover on me. Just you know, wear it like a sombrero as you step out. Uh, yeah, but I have uses for it. Don't worry. Yeah. You know, worst comes to worst, we could all chuck a car at him if he shows up. I mean, car, motorcycle. And see, is is he be on the the five minute, uh, fifteen minute thing? Oh yeah, so look at what we're looking at. This is the gate between Brooklyn downtown and Brooklyn Heights. What we're looking at right now. Oh, the. the Raynard uh, did map. say he was listening, but he'd be right back. As this is the map of Brooklyn I'm looking at right now. That where we are, we're in downtown. So yeah, you're next to you're next to the gate that separates downtown from Heights. A f little bit more south than that, it is Cobble Hill, and a little bit off to the side, it is Boris Hill. Right. So Saturday. we're still in the we're still in Pizza Free District. Okay. Sweet. The smell, is it coming from our side or the other side of that 15 minute wall? Yeah, it's coming directly south. It's going parallel to the fence. And it's it, you don't need to pass the gate. You can just keep following the gate down to where this guy is supposed to be. Let's do it. <clears throat> Alright. Grim, you're on the street. Chico, you're on the street. I I think I'm in the swarm, if I remember correctly. Which I I would yeah. like to be following Grim as closely as possible as well. Uh, all right, Amira, you pull yourself onto the street. As you pull yourself out, you see that Jaden flies over your head, 
and lands on the road and shifts into Hamid form. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same since we're since we're like in the city proper, and I've got a shirt on finally. Ah, there's there's our curfew. Why are you worried about the veil breach for? Yeah, right. Oh, right. If that's the case, no fucking base farm. Fuck it. Yeah, if we fuck up, we can ask the glass workers or shell lords to scrap the footage. Ah, oh, more perfect. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't throw off noiter to bastards, but. <laughs> Given a yeah. choice between the two of them, I'll take the one that yeah. isn't corrupt by the weaver. They probably love this shite. Uh, Baxar, uh, I would also be in Krenos. Right. So as we all step out, it's looking around. It's willpower for me to change into Krenos, right? Uh, for you to go into oh, Krenos form, that's a point of rage. A point of rage, oh, okay. Right. There you go. When you're ready with your packed alpha senses, we're gonna fucking kill this guy. You're so ready for this. Oh, yeah. He's not in the mood to take hostages right now. Jaxi, I will kill this man. More on my mother. Right As we get this going. Yeah, 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 Grim just describes your movements. So you got like very like train movements. This is just a freight train of wolf going down the road. He's got the manhole cover in between his teeth. Yeah. So you're moving. Uh, Chico, look at the sky, because Grim's a little bit too pissed to notice this. It's snowing. It's starting to snow. In November. Winter. Fuck her. How late November is it actually? Actually, climate change. Yeah. Well, See, no, I think uh, it's just New York. November New York 3rd. just sucks. Yeah. As we have an actual New Yorker who can uh, testify to that. Testify. Hmm. All right. As as we have a witness, it is November third, and, and it's beginning to snow. Well, thankfully, the city still has enough money to have a little bit of salt on the important roads. Granted, it's not going to be enough to prevent a few schools from being shut down. I will say if it's snowing the beginning of November, it's probably a fairly light snow. It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be crazy or anything. We got a, we, yeah, we got a little bit on the street to prevent black ice from forming. Yeah, that's, that's about right. right. So you continue to move down the road. Trot, 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 trot. And... Hmm. Hmm. Where are we looking? As you're looking around, we're getting close. Getting close. Grammy can smell it. It's right around you. That motorcycle. You can tell it went down the road. It went down this street. It continued moving. And it's next to that Burger King. That's where he is. You say that Burger King, but all I see is the, the map of the tower. Yeah, same. Yeah, you're, you're same. still here. It's theater, the theater of the Mind. Theater of the Mind. Oh, right? no, okay. No. That one Burger King. That one specific Burger King. You got it. Yeah, that, that that Burger King right there in Brooklyn. Since when does vampires eat hamburgers? Uh, we would all like to turn our heads and look at Vigo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did, he did start a trend. I mean, that's true, but he's the only one that could do that. Yeah, all you gotta do is be a cannibal warrior vampire. That's how I, it works. I think... I think the place I'm talking about does have a parking lot. Okay, so this works out. Oh, lovely. Alright, that's enough of the cowboy, enough of the cowboy bebop music. Let's see. Grim. You you mute yourself right as I called your name. Yep. Yeah, I gotta blow my nose. Alright. Alright, so. Ham. Yes. As you're approaching, you're getting a chill up your spine. Oh, some 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 real crazies around the corner. You're looking you're looking at a Ferrek toy, and you didn't feel this kind of chill. We got a dangerous motherfucker around the corner. Uh based on what I'm feeling, what would a Chico need to roll to figure out whatever the hell that thing is around the corner? Perception and the cold. Alright. And... 
Ooh. Hmm. 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 We all know. We all know that's a rage. Also, Sean, that was a point for you too with rage, uh, for that Feldnesis roll. You're looking. Hmm. Something crazy around this corner. We don't know what it is. We don't know what this thing is supposed to be, Chico, but it's creepy. Tusk gotta be rough. Yeah, yes. Chico knows talking to Grim will not help him slow down in any way. So he's just going to prepare himself for whatever's to come. And shift into uh as we are playing the wrong Krano. song. Just, yep, I'm gonna I join him on that. Trying this time. What's up? <clears throat> Ryan wants to apologize for making this character. I well, beg your freaking pardon. <laughs> are you gonna God, throw a this... car at it? Like go full Vika, just throw a car at the final back. It's like guy. we throw a car I mean, at him and he throws a car back. <laughs> He goes, uh, Ragnar throws a car at him. He catches and throws it back. Hmm. <laughs> we were All just right. playing volleyball with a car. Grim, you turn the corner. Send out the map. You turn the corner. There, there he is. There he is. You see him. And he's standing with somebody. Chico, you come around the corner. Elmira, would you like to make a perception and a cult roll? Uh, sh sure. Hang on. All right, there we go. Let's see, just get around, get around. Look over here. Ooh, Amira. You've encountered a few vampires before. This being New York, that's unavoidable. But you can tell from looking at this guy, this is a bit of a cut above your typical vampire. You're looking at this guy. You don't know exactly what it is. But something about him is freaking you out. It's not petrifying. It's not going to give you some sort of fear status condition. But it's putting you on edge looking at him. Hmm. So yes, coming around here. To pull up his full art asset, we could not, we could not get this right in mid-journey. So I had to make my own using OpenArt AI. Right, sorry, Putnam. So pulling him out, pulling him out in game chat. Let's see, pull him up on the screen. Oh fuck me! There he is. Shit, that's a mean bastard. Ragnar, new and improved. Ragnar 2.0, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Nobody's ever seen this character before, but we know who he is. Yep. Now he's got a gas mask helmet combo. Yep. And something incredibly alarming, Kalmara. You see that he was streaking from a blood bag that he just put into his pocket as he turns to look at you. Okay. Uh, so does he see me see him drinking from the blood bag? Yeah, he he's all... He might have already known you're here, too. Uh, Almira, roll a wits and a cult check. See if you know this exists or not. Uh, Almira, we know some vampires have heightened senses. We don't know what the ability is called, but he may or may not have heard you before you even came around that corner. Okay. And Good Tyler morning, and Reynard, you finally arrived on the scene. Oh, I think we found our man, didn't we? Our like man was with someone else. So, first off. And second off. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. You can see him. Mate, this is a fight we can't fucking win. Not while he's here. Uh, Rack, Rack, not Rack, not. As you see this, uh, clown, uh, point over at the six of you. I, there, there they are, there they are. All right, remember, you're, you're going to be fine for this one. 
I just do what you gotta do. We can go back to business as usual after this is done. That is. <laughs> uh, should we roll to, to <laughs> should we roll to see if we know who that is? Yeah, so that is going to be intelligence and uh, politics. Is it politics or law? Politics law. or law? It's law. Depending on what it's called in this game. Okay, I'm no law, law, so I, just yeah. straight intelligence. In intelligence and law. My intelligence yeah. is dog shit. What, so, what yep, there we go. I've got no idea. Tell me. However, we have no idea who this is. You just don't like clowns. What's the uh, difficulty? <laughs> All right, difficulty. Given that he's a public figure amongst the underworld, six. Something about a sound fail, right? Uh, Chico, these fucking clowns. Grim, we gotta kill a clown too. Sounds game. I'm, I'm right. okay with that. But Reynard, we know who this is. Sean, do you wish to speak as Ragnar or Reynard? Yeah. Uh, Ragnar would probably say, Do you lot have any business with me? Well, across the uh, way. We've got two options. We got an easy way, we got a hard way. Or the way, we do what we're told of us. What matters? Is what you want to do. You and your clan friend over there, whoever you may fucking be. I don't know. I don't like the looks of them. Granted, I don't like the looks of you either. So what's it going to be? People die. People don't die. Your call. Uh, Ragnar seems they don't know who we are. I'm sorry. I've never been interested in ICP myself. More of <laughs> Eminem kind of guy. <laughs> Fucking up it. See, very charming lots. Let me count the line. Let me see who is who. He is going to stretch his. He's going to point at you. Tyler, Jaden, Elmira, Reynard, Grim, and Chico. Though some of you are lying, those aren't your real names. And what do you care? <laughs> Spending a rage to go into Kronos. Uh, you're shifting before his eyes. Oh, I never do tire of seeing that. That is always very fascinating. Look, pain face. We don't know. We don't want you. We want the man in the helmet. Oh, I know about that. I know about your little quest. And I believe that the gods you follow have turned their backs on you. This is something that you're going to choke on if you bite on it. The only god we follow is the mother guy of an Aether fate. Not like you care anything about that, do you? But I won't bite. <laughs> hmm. I always do admire the politics of the Guru. You don't ever recognize a friend from an enemy. And you don't acknowledge anyone who just wishes to mind their own business. I have no quarrel with you. That's because of your main hunt for Ragnar. I can't abide by that. You're trying to interfere with a greater plan that goes way beyond you. I do know. Uh, we have a tendency to get in the way of things. And I see you're going to continue. Uh, okay. Ragnar, you have sampled my Vitae. You should be fine. Fuck. And with that, you see that the clown walks into Ragnar and disappears. Matt, I think we're in it now. Ragnar, you are supercharged. After he does that, you feel a surge of power washed over your body. That wasn't, uh, what's his face, was it? Yes, yes, it was. That was exactly who that was. That was the guy that fucking destroyed half the world? Yeah, well, half of North yep. America. 
That was a bad guy of our last I see. Yep, that was Malkav. <laughs> well, the last time I faced against him, it, it didn't work out so well, guys. Uh, <laughs> Tyler's going to look <laughs> over to you. A, went, you sorry, went down as a fucking hero. You went down as a hero. Everyone else surrendered. You did. I mean, we had no idea. Well, he's in he's in Mexico. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler's going to so technically he's good. Already dead. <laughs> Few vampires yeah, can ahead, withstand the, Mex no, I, the Mexico filter. I, I, I'm Donald Trump. Go ahead. Tyler's going to lean over to Reynard. I don't know what this book. Much less a clown. I think we're in a fight bigger than we can bigger than we can stick our legs into. What you think? Raynard is gonna look at Ragnar and said, and say, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's any way that we could come to any kind of agreement. So I guess there's no choice. But as he's saying that he's gonna be using liar's face, so that um, <laughs> Raynard believes he's lying and thinks that he can come to an agreement with Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and more, are you fucking daft? So, um... Yeah? I spend a willpower, and I roll Charisma Subterfuge. Alright. Roll it. And you have to willpower right against it. Alright, I can do that. Charisma Subterfuge. Not nah, complete circle, but I know trick close enough. Oh. We're tied. Oh fuck! Right. How does that work? I right, give me a D10. Beat a four. Oh, ah, Ragnar, damn it. You've talked to so many. Ragnar, you have talked to so many liars across your life. This is just another dime a dozen scumbag. That's what you shot. Yeah, it was. Oh. Right. Okay. Mr. Motorcycle Man. Why does. One spirit want you dead, and another to be captured. Ragnar, how do you answer that? Do I know? Do I have any idea why they're after me, specifically? <laughs> no. No. I haven't the foggiest. I was hoping maybe you would tell me why you're after me. You'd think that you would know what you were doing, but I don't know that you do. Our, our great god told us. Um, I've never done nothing to the Greeks. I haven't even been to Greece. I've been all over Europe and I've never stepped foot in Greece. I would recommend it. Look, we just want to know what you specifically are doing in New York. Granted, we see a lot, not damn it, a lot of vampires around here. But I'm quite like yourself. So what are you doing here, personally? Personally, my whole goal since I came to this godforsaken country has been to carve out a little section of my own to be left alone in. But everyone, such as yourselves, seemed to want to get in the way of that. You know, last time I've looked at that, about a million people died. You know, it was it was literally in the opposite side of the country. Why did you just fucking go there? I was there. Really? I had to make certain arrangements so my freedom could be secured. Part of those arrangements involved me coming here. What well, I done? Frankly, so I have no power to stop what's coming any more than you do. So, frankly, we're both at an impasse here. Well, that doesn't sound like freedom to me. What's stopping you? Well, there's freedom and there's death. With a freedom comes the, the ability to make choices. Some choices lead to your death and some don't. 
one's freedom doesn't give them the freedom from the ability to be free of consequences. It really gives you freedom to act as you would want to act, given the situation you're pre presented with. The situation I'm presented with is not a very advantageous one for anyone. Yeah, given where you came from, I can see where that's coming from. But at the very least, you figured, you know, with the death toll as large as that, and you've been around the neighborhood when this happened, you figured that'd be dead enough, wouldn't you? But no, here you are, in New York, doing someone else's bidding. So, that's the case. You're gonna keep doing someone else's bidding? Or you're gonna be the freedom for that you say you are? I care about my personal freedom. I've given up on wasting my energy on freeing others. That gets you killed. Right now, I'm doing what is in my best interest. I suggest you do the same. If that means fighting me, I suggest you think twice. I suggest that may not be in your best interest. I'm not a Ragnar just, vampire. Ragnar images of Sylvester meeting the last time for last stand, you killing Fabrice Wilson in our pre previous game. The whole fight with the Ministry Church just is all going through your mind as you're talking. been through a lot. I've gone through hell. Yeah. Phil of the Gara. To extend that hell. It's up to you. Well. But I caution you. This fight's in your hands. Doesn't need to be a fight. You can walk away. No chance you come with us willingly to meet someone. And with the terms of the meeting. Am I going there? Restrained? Am I going there? In cuffs, are we meeting in a neutral position and just having a chat? Quick question uh, to the DM. Did I see... I Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Keep... Quick question to the DM: Did did we see the clown guy merge with uh, with Ragnar? See, oh, I can answer that myself. Yes, you saw me merge with him. Preferably with you leaving the clown behind. You come with us. You talk with a great god. You leave the fucking clown behind. What if it's Bacchus wants to talk to the clown, and that's why he's asking us to? Bring him. I'm well, very confused. Well, maybe the Fat Hands Ambassador should have been more specific. But granted, the something about the bloke done. Something about the bloke done, Felroyd. That or that. Uh, I could uh, left out some information. I think you're overestimating your hand here. You believe to be in the upper hand. You believe to have the high the high ground in this conversation but assure i assure you you do not i do so me asking you for a meeting is a kindness that said it would be very disadvantageous for me to a give up a powerful ally and b meet in a non-neutral location under your terms um can I, can I get a good. sense of if we can win this fight if we do fight? Alright, taking a look at this guy, Grim. Observing this guy, I want this to be a wits and survival. So it's survival. And this will be a six. Speaking of rich, Ragnar, would you like to spend your first pool? Graham, you can win this guy. Fuck it. Just get in there. Get in there. Win. Win. Radar, get, a Radar, get a rage. Get a rage. Get a point of rage. <laughs> Radar would probably also uh, try to get a gauge on whether or not they even have a shot at this. All right. So we another roll. Wits and survival. Wits and, wits and survival. And, and would Ragnar like to spend his first blood point? 
on. Your choice of obtenebration, obtenebration or presence. Probably presence. Tyler, right. want, after and with hearing, that, sorry, God. Ragnar, you activate all. You now have advantage on all of your charisma and man manipulation checks. And anyone who wishes to convince you otherwise or try to deal harm in terms of this conversation has a plus two added to the difficulty of their rolls. Uh, you now seem very persuasive. Tyler. And Sorry, good. Yes. Pointing at you, Omira. That Bacchus flaw is going off now. Or the Bacchus what is going off? The Bacchus flaw. Your inability con to control inner urges and inhibitions. Oh. So I'm entranced by Ragnar. Is that the problem? You, you're trying to figure out how, what kind of date would be perfect by this guy. He doesn't look like the kind of guy to go to a bistro. <laughs> God damn it. I think, I think Ragnar would go to a bistro. He's French. Of course he'd go to a bistro. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> I live in the bistro, man. Yeah. Think, think about, Amara, how much money do you have in your pocket? Uh, $100 sounds like a good for mouse spend for a first date with them, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, fucking on the back of his motorcycle would be free, right? Yes. <laughs> More like a blood drained if you do that. I would have recommended it. Yep. Yep. Tyler, you're looking over. Tyler, you're looking over. You see Amira is starting to blush after Ragnar activates presence. Fuck you looking at. God's sake. Get your head in the game. Uh. uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, no. Tyler is going to, after hearing uh, it not being his choice, um... After the whole high ground talk, he wants to get a more insight on on the clown and Ragnar, where they stand with each other, because something about that doesn't seem right to him. Same role that Ragnar just made, Wits and Survival. Wits, Wits and Survival. Uh, you're looking over, you're looking, yeah, Chico, you're looking over at Grimm, and Grimm is rearing up. He's got a lot of things he would like to do with that manhole cover. <laughs> oh, baby. Chico is... He's, He's got one hand on the back of this car and the other on the manhole cover. <laughs> Chico um, can see his claws dig into the back of the trunk of this car. Come on now, Grim. Just... Easy to do it. Just... I swear. It's just another fucking vampire. We killed like 20 of them. Five of them. Whatever yes, the number but... is. <sighs> He don't smell right, and they besides, don't, they all don't smell right. I've I've always been terrified of clowns, even before my first change. I was always terrified of them. This is this is spooky. Oh, speak, uh, speaking of my role, what did I learn from from my role regarding uh, what, our ability what, to? What both Reynard and Tyler got, Reynard, because you recognized who Malkov was with that three successes. You saw him drinking from a blood bag. You heard the word my vite. It is highly likely that this guy drank antediluvian blood. And if that's the case, then this guy is supercharged. His generation does not matter. This is going to be a hell of a ride if you go into a fight with him. Tyler, you're looking at this guy. And this guy seems very confident for a guy who's going... 1v6 against shifters. So he's got something planned. You don't know what. Alright. You've probably figured out at least six ways this fight can end, and in all of them you win. At least, I imagine that's what the clown in your head is telling you. Tyler's actually going to start walking towards him. <laughs> but look here. Even if you do win... Even if you do believe the clan within your head, no matter what happens, even if you win, in every scenario you've thought possible, the victory will be very, very uncomfortable for you. We are offering you... Roll, roll willpower. willpower? Keep, keep talking as you roll willpower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep talking as you roll willpower. 
Uh, difficulty? Alright, difficulty, he's using awe, uh, difficulty 8. Fuck! And that's a point of rage. Tyler, you start... Tyler, you start reaching for your belt as you're talking to this guy. But look, at the end of the day... The option was you leave your clan behind, because I imagine no matter what happens... He'll know what we're talking about anyway, and even if we don't, you'll tell him. But the way I'm looking at you, right now, you don't want to be here. I know for that for a fact. I've been places where I don't want to be. Everyone around me has places they don't want to be, and a lot of them would rather not be here right now with you. We can go out forever, standing here. Or, we could all kill each other, and you could be crawling around in the alleyway, praying to get out the sunlight before the fight's over. Or, you talk to Bacchus, you leave the clown behind for, t for the time being, and sure, maybe you'll tell him everything. You'll compromise one of our cairns, sure. But let me tell you, if you pick this fight right now, it's going to be very, very uncomfortable for you. So you leave the clown behind and you come with us, or we kill each other. <laughs> What's it going to be? As he says that. Uh, Ragnar, three things about his body language. One, his ears are hooked up like a dog waiting for you to drop a treat. Two, his tail is wagging. Three, you can see him blushing beneath his fur. Um. If only I had a Scooby snack. Um. I'm gonna punch you in the fucking nose. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ragnar would say. We have one path forward. Only one. Do I am confident enough in my own abilities that I don't need my friend with me. However, we don't meet on your terms. You bring Bacchus to a neutral location where I alone have a private meeting with Bacchus to discuss what needs to be discussed. Only then mm -hmm. can this end peacefully. You know what happens Bacchus, we... Bacchus I'm alright, you know how that. Amara, there's a very easy way to get his attention. Let's see, have you muted um, yourself? No, we haven't said anything. Okay, all right, so, sorry. You're all right. So what you gotta do is, uh, Amara, you got you gotta draw a sigil. Okay, I'll pull out a piece of chalk. I, I imagine I have to do like that because I have the right skill. Yes, you do. You have a little kit with you that you can do this with. Uh, let's see. Can I just copy this image and paste it into the roll 20? Uh, let's see. Nope. We gotta go into Discord for it. Placing this in game chat. This sigil. Okay. So it looks like a dick with three balls. Yes. <laughs> no appropriate. I expected nothing less. <laughs> no. It's like that mot. It's like uh, in you know the Motley Crew movie, The Dirt. When um, I never saw it. Oh, when they're oh, trying to yeah. think of the when they're trying to think of the bad names, and Tommy comes up with the four skins, and it's just a bunch of dicks. <laughs> yep. Amara, as you start doing that, you know what else you need to do. Do you still have Nemesis? I do. All right, you just need to spend one point. Okay. Right. So I'll, I'll doodle the thing and I'll spend a gnosis. Yeah, it's a... Tyler, you're trying to be serious. You're trying to think of your next careful thing to say. You hear what sounds like a ch chalk on chalkboard. You turn around. Elmira has immediately drawn the sigil. And clasped in her hands, full of alchemist style. Places the hand on it. And... Uh, now we just gotta wait. Uh, I... the telepathy phone should be picking up any moment now. 
Can I go offer her gnosis or no? See, uh, no, it's her gnosis that she's using. She's the one doing the right. Give her a minute. Okay. You need me to spend uh, or make a a rites roll, a rituals roll. Yeah, roll rituals. Yeah, yeah, roll rituals and manipulation. Difficulty six, since this is a level one. You might you just rolled. Yep, oh, yep. Uh, Ragnar began a call. He'll just lift up one finger and say, hold on one moment, and he'll put the phone to his ear. Oh, hi, honey. I heard you were looking for the call me. So this is Bacchus. So good to meet you. Um, I heard a little bit about you already. You're, you're Ragnar, right? Yes. See, am... oh, good. Oh, good. Put me on speaker. Okay. Put me on speaker. Let's see. So, did you put it on speaker? Hi, Elmira. Hi. Uh, are, you, are you good? Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Let's see. All right. Good. All right. I see you found him. And and you're doing the right thing. You're not listening to me, no honey badger. And you're doing the right thing. I'm standing right next to you. You shut up. This is my operation still. Oh, yes, yes, I know, honey. You, you, you can talk all you want. I, so, so, Ragnar, you want to call me? Oh, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> First of all, why are you looking for me? And why does See, Honey Badger want to kill me? Oh, uh, Honey Badger. Uh, he, he likes making little badasses. You know, Honey Badger's a badass. He likes having a bunch of badass Garu with him. Uh, that's, that's his prerogative. Uh, I don't have to same goal as him i just want to talk to you i just want to talk i just want to ask a few questions with you hey go ahead all right so what i gotta know uh where's vigo at do i actually even know where he is right now manhattan okay why are you asking Oh, but, you, you know, it, it's him and the one of the dragon they've got. Uh, they're, they're doing something pretty dangerous. I had, I had a little vision. I have those. And I saw they were going to do something creepy in Manhattan. And, I, and, I, and I, it's not going to be good for anybody. A little more specific, Vigo is a close associate of mine. Oh, I don't, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. No, no, not, not that. No. Uh, let's see. Uh, you ever seen Ghostbusters, honey? Sure. Yeah, he wants to do something like that. He wants to do a Ghostbuster. Uh, uh, no, it's not, not, not very good. No. Well, I so. Know. Uh, so uh, all I know is he's somewhere in Manhattan. Chico, you're saying? <laughs> Just laughing. <laughs> yeah, the... Bacchus is a way of killing tension. <laughs> I'm honestly yeah, like, kind of here for it because so this 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 yeah. was getting really tight, so I'm kind of happy for it. <laughs> oh. I, I also love that the way the way Bacchus talks, it's like it's it's like half. You ever seen Rain Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, now that you mention it. 7, 7 p.m., gotta get home for Wapner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he's doing a Ghostbuster, and he's uh, he's got Grisha with him, and, and Grisha's going to do something bad with him, too. And I have that night guy that walks with them. I, I don't know his name. He wears the helmet all the time, kind of like you do. Uh, but I don't think he has a face underneath it, and he's got a—he's got the one other guy with him. I, I think he's like a—he's like an Elvis Presley type. He, he likes to pretend he's Elvis. These are all close associates of mine who have saved my neck on more than one occasion. So, what I'll say is, have your talk with them. 
that's fine. If I find that any of the Garu Nation has harmed them, I will take it as a personal offense. Well, if if any of them have have harmed them, uh, let, let, let's go over what you say about harming. Uh, so so no final death. We're not going to do that. Uh, how about how about a stake? About just staking them. Is that okay? Why would you need to stake them? Oh uh, well, well, you know, uh, um, uh, two of them are Zamichi. Uh, two Zamichi. They, they're like talking to their beast. I know Grisha's really big into that path of metamorphosis, and I think uh, Vigo might be doing a little bit of the same. It, he looks really different than he did four years ago. And uh, that last guy, the guy in the helmet, uh, I, I don't think he's human anymore. Understood. They probably would be a little bit difficult to talk to if they weren't strained in some way or the other. So, so, so we, so we could do staking, right? Uh, what, what about uh, what about just torpor? Why don't we just put them in torpor? You don't harm them. So, uh, okay, so so no torpor, just just a stake. Okay, got it, got it. You do what's necessary just to get them to have a civilized conversation with you. I know sometimes they're not exactly uh, inclined towards civil conversation. So if a little force is necessary, I won't begrudge you it. See, However, um, good, they are good. close okay, to uh, yeah. Yeah, as close associates, your friends. I know you don't want to have your friends hurt. It's at this point, Grim throws a car over here. <laughs> so is it, oh, oh, what was that? There was a really loud crunch. Are, are you okay? Oh, that was Grim. He Sorry about that. Here and sits down. <laughs> he has to keep his muscles uh, in train. <laughs> He's so <laughs> aggro. <laughs> He's livid. Yeah, this that's is too much talking to you for a vampire that we can take. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it, he he sounds pretty mad. All right, okay, so so I'm gonna go be on the phone just a little bit while with you. Uh, we don't need all the locations of uh, all the all of your associates. We just need to know one of them. Um, but by the way, Reynard probably would go over to Grim and just kind of try to calm him down a little bit while they talk. He probably knows Grimmel enough to know he's about to fucking go off. As yeah, would Chico, like, I'm sorry, I swear, the next one will kill. Uh, the, the last thing we need is to get a famous frenzying in the middle of New York Street. <laughs> oh, word. Um... <laughs> it's like the more he hears words, the more angry he gets. <laughs> the average Arun it's brain a lot cell. Of talking. <laughs> Pretty much. Chico pulls out one of those ficus leaf wrap joints in his coat pocket. This will help you calm down. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does not go down to want one. At this point, he's also in beast form. <laughs> it, just gently apply it to the wolf's mouth. Have him breathe it in. Just secondhand smoke him. He'll be fine. Get him contact high. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's chewing on it. Yes. Like physically chewing on it. Uh, yeah. Chico... You're supposed to cook it. In... You're supposed to cook it in brownie first. Yeah. No, you can oh. eat pot leaves. They just taste like shit. <laughs> Never seen someone do that. I'm impressed by your fortitude, as always. So, uh, Ragnar, I just need to know one thing. Uh, the, the guy who scares me the most. Of all these guys, Vigo, I, I just want to know where in Manhattan he's supposed to be. Do I even know? I probably wouldn't, right? I don't uh, you, keep how much do you know about, on him. How much do you know about Manhattan District's IRL? Um, a little bit. Depends on Pick the district. One. Um, Lower East Side. That sounds like where Vigo would be. All right. 
I, uh, and and you you sure he's there, right? You're, you're not you're not trying to like, pull one over on me or anything. No, and I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't keep close tabs on him. We don't have the same amount of close contact as we used to. But it's a start, and it's all I can offer you. All right, so okay, I'll do a little bit of astral projecting. I can do that. And oh, he's he's where they made rent. Oh, he's in the rent place. Oh, oh, how classy. I'll I'll let him know. Uh, my, my girls know, and I'll let Elmira know, and her pack know uh, where he is. And uh, that's all I really need to know, honey. No problem. Glad we can part amicably. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I know that little uh, clown was listening to this whole thing. As Ragnar, you feel Malkalf pull his way out of your back. You can hear me. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know about you. I know about the madness stuff. How much do you know? Oh, oh you can ask me. You, you ask me. Where are you going to be? Your Karen? I know where you are in Coney Island. Oh, oh no, we, we can just meet the webways. I, I, I can do that, you know. I'd love to meet you. As Ragnar, you feel Malkalf pull himself out of your back, jump, and he vanishes. See, that's all you needed to do like 20 minutes ago, and we could have solved this earlier. I don't control him. And the phone has gone completely silent. As strong as I am, he is far stronger. The Vacus didn't hang up the call. The call is just irresponsive now. You're got to fail, guys. Yeah. No. Put the, the phone away and say, that is all. I will let you on your way. Uh, Tyler's going to... Wait, can can Tyler smell the uh, the kind of cigarettes he's got on him? <laughs> yeah, you can smell the marijuana from here. It's got a very distinct smell. Oh, I thought he had like Marlboro <laughs> Red on him. No, no, he had American Spirits. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wait, so, uh, are so American Spirit we, uh, a worm brand or there no? Is no? There, there is no Weaver in. Uh, there is no Weaver. There is no worm in American Spirit. No, they oh, wouldn't be. Okay. They're like Native American cigarettes. <laughs> All right, you got the Wendigo cigarettes. Good on you. At least you have that much. Stuff. That. If you called it out, Ragnar would just pull one out and flick it over to uh, to Tyler and just say, "Don't say I never gave you nothing." Glad we could come to an agreement. Why? And he's just gonna stand there and wait for them to leave. <laughs> Likewise, keep your fucking clown on a leash so he freaks me out. And he's going to actually like use the gnosis on his thumb to like light it. You know what? Fuck <laughs> it. Do you want a light, man? All right, I'll hand him a light. No fucking, he's gonna use the gnosis to fucking light it. Oh, uh, roll yeah, nice. I, oh wait, yeah, spam for gnosis and we can roll for create elements. Oh yeah. Hopefully I don't fuck this up, or else that'd be fucking embarrassing. Alright, that's Gnosis, that. and then roll Gnosis, and what else? Or is it just Gnosis? Yeah, just r use this point, roll gnosis. gnosis. Okay. Uh, difficulty? Difficulty 6. Right, there we go. In fact, uh, a little bit more fire than you thought you were going to make comes out. It's just a pillar of fire. He's just got like a, he's just got like a blowtorch. Ah, it's a bit too much. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> As Ragnar, you're still high off of antiluvian blood. Uh, you swear that fire was going to hit Ragnar, but you must have misjudged the distance of where he was standing because he moved without moving while you were looking right at him. See, I'm better. That's better than I usually do that. Well, um, hopefully we don't have to kill your uh, your Tamita friend, but I have a slight bit of personal grudge. See, Tamita killed my father, but not too big a grudge. He was a bastard who never talked to me. Well, 
We all have our backstories. Ah, tell I'm me sure my associate wasn't the one who murdered your father, so I believe that you'd have no personal grudge against him. Yeah, just to meet us in general. I'm a, soak, I'm a slave to appearances. Frankly, I general, generally like seeing the cheese either myself, but... Yeah, well, I figured... Difficult to exchange bedfellows. Sorry, uh, Elmira is going to say something. What was that? So are we done here? Are we, are we going? Well, back is talk to him. Uh, the only problem is now, I, th I think Graham wanted... Uh, I think Graham wanted a honey badger. I'll get him a person. I'll tow it him with him. Don't worry. I'll fix that. Well, I mean, I don't just... think he cares about the honey badger. He just wanted to fight. Awesome. <laughs> well, 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 if he wants to fight Ragnar, I don't think Grim gives a fuck about which totem he gets. Nah. Oh well, he'll nope. get a fight ahead of him later. Well, appreciate it. Glad we didn't have to fucking kill each other because oh, fuck me, this evening's been shite. All right, I'll let you get out the sun. Thank you. Uh, at, at current time, it is midnight. And, uh, Almira, are we gonna see this guy again? We never did get that phone number. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna work out, the, the whole vampire guru thing. <laughs> no, I didn't and think I don't, no, I'm no Buffy the Vampire oh. Slayer, but, uh, yeah, well, the well, well, the Burger King is right over there. He can do a Humpty Hump. I'm so fucking loot. Let's use their bathrooms. Later. Yes. Later, love. <laughs> the busy, I'm I, I don't know what that means. There's there's this shitty rap song called <laughs> the Humpty Hump or whatever it is, and like the no, guy has no, this. Let go, you fat. I'm cool. skinny. I'm, I'm skinny. He's talking like Humpty. You look ugly. <laughs> and he's talking about how like he's trying to get with this chick. And how he's talking about how he's a freak and he once got busy in a Burger King bathroom. Yeah. It's a yeah. terrible fucking song. It was in Dance Central too <laughs> on the fucking Xbox. It's a classic. That song hey, fucking you know blows. Yeah. There was like, there was there was a period of time where there were a couple of like really funny, like very <laughs> self aware hip hop artists. I put him up there with like Bismarck Key. Like Bismarck Key was amazing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> And so Ragnar's alive for the time being. There you go. And now, yeah. better yet, play interlude. Oh, well, it was more. Well, in all honesty, he probably smelled the blood in the chest, then, didn't he? Uh, I'm gonna shift back into Hamid form now that that fight's been avoided. Yeah, you look. You look. <sighs> And yeah, you got some serious looking scar tissue where it is. Don't touch it the minute you start moving that, it's going to start bleeding. Yeah, a DOS going to take a minute. I think uh, we should probably talk to Bacchus, and Honey Badger's probably very upset with us. I would be, think so. Yeah. And also, I am running low on noses. I might need some of that back. No, as happy as I am that Ragnar did not wipe the party and the party did not kill Ragnar. I'm kind of a little disappointed I didn't get to see Ragnar fight as beefed up as he is. I mean, more than likely, Vigo's probably going to try to kill us. So, harm will probably I, come oh, to him. Is. Yeah, Vigo's not the most reasonable of people. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ragnar's the reasonable one. And I have a feeling... Uh, I have a feeling that Vigo is probably stronger than Ragnar at this point. Or yeah, at least close so, to. So, not... None of the stats do what the disciplines. For Vigo? Uh, no, for Ragnar. Sure. All right. Oh, you told me. You told me Ragnar's already. Yeah. Uh, I did not give you the number values. No. All right. Celerity six. Potence five. Presence five. Vicissitude four. Obtenebration three. Aspects three and four hundred two three. Yeah, we would have fucking died, fellas. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a hell of a ride, and that's not going into his stats either. 
No. Celerity six. I don't even know what celerity six gives you. I was and at five at the end of the campaign. <laughs> you've been you've been talking with uh, you've been talking with Mount Cap and he's being able to juice you up. Yeah. It's like, like being I can around turn back time at celerity five. Yes. Alright. So what happens at celerity number six? You ready for this? Alright. Somebody disconnected. What the flip? Uh, Who is that? Alright. Am I disconnect? No, I disconnect. No, no. That's weird. All right. So at celerity six, you start moving twice in initiative. Oh, what? <laughs> yes. That's busted, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! All, all on at celerity six, what happens? You start moving twice in initiative. <laughs> oh man. That is so. And along fucked. with that, your base move, and your base movement speed is fifty miles an hour. Why are you using it? Shit. You don't even need the motorcycle, I mean, dude. I guess, that, <laughs> I guess that checks out, though, for, for someone who is literally faster than turning back time. And then we combine that with the Zulu Warform. And we buff up the stats. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God, God. I'm really glad I we... Have, I'm, now, I'm now. even more glad we avoided that fight now. Because, holy shit. That, that, that fight... That fight would have been possible, but three of you would have gone to a dying state at some point during that fight. I hit. I'm already at, yeah. at, f at five aggro damage. Yeah, Tyler, that would have left you with a permanent wound too. Yeah. I still. Think you take too much yeah. damage like that. You take too much damage like that. You start getting scars and disfigurements that stay on you even after regenerating. Yeah, like the fucking five in my chest right now. Yeah, you're gonna have that little, like, um... Kinshiro from Fist North Star scar in your chest now. I mean, at least that looks good. You can brag about that. Grim. Grim. The urge to murder Grim. It's very strong right now. And I got Grim. Can I smell Grim. any other vampire nearby? Grim, your rage. Your rage. Roll. Yeah, make that smell roll, that perception and primal urge. We gotta kill something. Grim, you're oh, thinking to fuck. yourself, this. <laughs> this sucks. This sucks. No, we're not going home. We're finding another enemy. Start smelling. Yep. Smelling. You got it. You got it. Wait a minute. Weren't we chasing that panda man? Absolutely, we were. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we pick up that about smell. It. You find it. We know where he is now. Uh, how do I play this? I found something. Oh, uh, is it one of the uh, leeches that got away? Yeah, absolutely. Uh. We want to finish the job. Absolutely, we're going to finish the job. Well, yeah. I mean, he's out here. Fuck him. Ragnar said nothing about a panda man, so fuck him. Uh, Grim takes off. Ragnar probably does so not give a shit about anyone. He doesn't know directly at this point. Yeah, right, Ragnar, <laughs> we did not give off the laundry list of vampires that they can and can't kill. So if he cared about he the panda man, care. we're tough shite. We'll fight you later. Yeah, as long as you don't kill the captains, he's fine. So this is like the... Um, Kyle, you still haven't played Cyberpunk 2077. I have not, no. Uh, it has... It's like the Cyber Psycho missions in that game. My, where P my PC you... can't run it, so... When you go into the Cyber Psycho missions, your first instinct is to kill the Cyber Psycho because they're very hot and loud boss fights. But you're not supposed to kill them. You're supposed to take them out non-lethally because it gives you more experience points and money. Oh, well. Now I know when I play it. Except I'm probably going to forget yeah. by the time I have something I can run it. Let's see. You're smelling... Let's see. Does this place actually exist? I'm looking up downtown Brooklyn. My, I think my Xbox is downloading something in the background. i got to turn off my Xbox real quick. Yeah. It's downloading malware as we speak. Let's see. We have... 
We have a choice of three different sushi restaurants, uh, Sean. Let's see. Um, we're currently in downtown. Here's one. Here's one that we can go to. Uh, Dago Hand Roll. That sounds good. Yeah. And they're closed. But that's not going to stop you, Grim. You walk up to the sushi restaurant. It's closed. You look at their hours of operation. Uh, fuck it. It's open now as you smash it open. Probably, but do you still have the manhole? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. It's in my mouth. Yeah. You just take it. Uh, you do you with me. it still in your mouth? Uh, yes. Yeah. So as you smash it open, just your sheer Arun strength, you break it open, and the door almost flies off the hinge. You swing it. You'll find it kind of funny that a panda man is hiding in a fucking sushi restaurant. You should have been in a Chinese takeout restaurant instead. True. It is odd. Where is he? Where is he? Grim, he's somewhere. He's somewhere in here. He's fucking he's somewhere hiding. in here. Where is he? Kushi's a beachy? Or Kushi's a beachy? What the fuck is that? Yeah, that's... That's uh, this. This is not a, a real place. I took this map from Cyberpunk. I think that's kind of funny though. It's like they're they're yeah. talking shit. Oh wait, no, isn't the door over here? Yeah, doors over. Right, here. Well, well, you're coming oh, through this way. I, I'm the one running the game on the side where you come in. Oh okay. <laughs> I didn't break down the door. I broke down the fucking wall. You broke this... down the window. There's a window right there. Yeah. Okay, cave it in. <laughs> And I gotta copy the reference because Kyle is not gonna get the music reference. See, uh, see, Graham, you're in the building. You're in the building. You stop that manhole cover. Fish. You're smelling fish. Oh, you're smelling fish. Oh, uh, Graham. Graham, give me a willpower roll. It's gonna try to eat the fish. Difficulty six. Yep, difficulty six. Grim, we gotta think. You gotta think. Grim, we're gonna eat that later. Or eat that later. We kill, the we kill, the kill the vampire first. We eat the sushi later. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Nothing like uh, killing vamps and eating sushi. Remember, you gotta eat the fugu by itself. Don't prepare. That's too complicated. Yeah. See, look around. You're smelling. What smelling is it's nearby. He's looking for punishment, isn't he? What are you looking at? See, this. well, that's well. We're in the employee section, where this is where the boss's computer would be the safe if if you let to rob this place. Mm, nah, just looking around. As you see, uh, Jaden has stepped in. He has gone. He's uh, gone to cross form. He looks over at you and says. Do, do you want the money from that safe? Ooh, what would I do with money? Wait, hold up. If you if you find coins in there, uh, give them to me. I need to do something on the way back. Gee, just the coins. Yeah, for uh, for uh, raccoon. Uh, it's a totem. He's going to dance around you, Chico, and then squat next to the safe. He spins a point of gnosis, opens lock. Uh, I wonder if they have any of that imported Japanese bear. They probably do. You see, he takes just a thing. He takes just a single roll of quarters and throws it right over here. Ah, excuse me. Something for raccoon on the way back. How about what you were saying? Amara, what the idea? What was it? Uh, are there mortals in the restaurant? Oh, it's closed. Oh, except for the door we just tore, tore open. Yeah. Okay. So you're the mortals. Uh, yeah, it just occurred to me that I can uh, crack safes with one of my gifts. Oh, you also have it. Okay. Can you? Yeah, Rekabash. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So, Grim. Grim, we know where it is. That door, that's where the chef is. That's where they are. Hang on. I'll tell you, you may have found something. 
Uh, kick it open. All right, you kick it open, and I gotta pull up the asset for this. As you have kicked it open, and yep, you see him. He's got both of his hands raised. I'm launching the mantle color. Right? Right, roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden will be moving on 13 to click the token first. Ah, yes. It doesn't matter. It was the same, same fucking roll. Same roll. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's fine. I like how they added a count to initiative order. All right? Yeah, that's pretty good. How many we'll people? be let to guess. We'll be let to guess one more time what kind of vampire this is supposed to be. Uh. Sabat. I think I said Sabat last time. Uh, that, that's a faction. Yeah. Yep. I don't know my different types of vampires. Is he? This he is a body. long shot, but given he's in costume, is he Toreador? Not Toreador. No. Chico, you're close. Oh, is he a... What is it? Hecate? Yes, but there's a specific kind. Uh, That one specific type of vampire that you're thinking of. Um begins an H. Does Ham know his uh, vampire lore? It's the Hecata then uh I think it's like something. Think. Think think it's me being do Sean do the rolls. Think. God think what was the roll? Again. Initiative. Uh, how does one roll initiative? Uh, go to combat oh, it's and it's on the sheet click on, initiative. It's on the sheet on the bottom. Make yeah. sure to click your token first. Oh. Harbinger of Ashur. Yeah. Behold! You got it right. Harbinger Yeah, that is a very... By the way, these guys are in Tribook Sabbath. Give that book a read for anyone listening to this. No, not tr not tr Tropic Sabat. No, Vampire's Guide to the Sabat Second Edition. That's what that's what they're in. Emin Clan Blood, uh, blood, blood Brothers. Both of them are very fun vampire clans. I don't see you used that ever. Well, well, you, well, you can't really use Clan Blood, blood Brothers anymore, Sean. You know why? <laughs> Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> There's some fuck uh, shit. Remember, in that. the Gaff Fenris. You can't play the Gaff Fenris, but you can just play Clan Blood Brother. Yeah. And you can play the Shadow Lords. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Inconsistency with the, uh, with World of Darkness staff aside. Let's kill this thing. Right. Actually, I think we could just let fucking Grim do the heavy lifting. <laughs> right. So, has everyone rolled? Uh, I think. Uh, right. has the bird We're rolled. We're going to play the music. Unless, unless Kyle guesses the music reference correctly, we will not play the song. Oh, uh, the one we're listening to right now? Not the panda. Not the panda. What's his name after? Uh, the what 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 was his name? I forget. You, you just missed it. I did miss Max it. Oh, yeah. Miracle Man. Uh Miracle Man. I knew Magic Man by uh, uh by heart, but I don't think that's the right one. Maybe um, what did you just say? There's an AWOL Nation song called Miracle Man. See. See. If you were listening at home and you guessed Elvis Costello, you would be correct. I've never oh, actually Elvis listened Costello. to Elvis Costello. Yeah. Really? I, as we, no. As we have this cheerful song playing in the background, Chico, would you like to try to kill this guy before Grim does? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Um, <laughs> excellent idea. <laughs> yeah, Chico is going to move to here. And he is going to just ready himself whenever Grim... Uh, so I Grim make the first move on this thing. Because right. he does not threw the he threw the manhole cover at him. Oh. Yeah, yeah, excuse you, you're moving outside initiative. 
Yeah, both of you. Oh, right, shit, Reynard, sorry. is your move? I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, my fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I did it too because I figured I would be closer than I was. Yeah. I'll allow that. Reynard, your move? Grim has essentially cast uh, Compel Duel, and yeah. um, Reynard's just going to sit down. And um, if he had popcorn, he'd be eating it, but he's just going to kind of cross his legs and take his fang and start digging out the uh, dirt under his nails. Yeah, this is a wonderful scene we've made. This You've got this cheerful song and vis violent murder. Grim, you may make your attack. Uh, bro. You're throwing the man. Throwing the man. That's just his thing. He just likes throwing shit. <laughs> He, he's specifically there to throw shit. Throw shit and claw shit. Never bite because right. vampires could, you know. Well, well, that's not critical. So yeah, that does hit him. Alright, so this is gonna be your uh, your strength, your melee. Uh, how many numbers is that? Strength and melee? Holy that's God. Your strength and your melee. Uh, my strength is one, two, three, four, five, six. Melee is three. Uh, so nine damage. That aggro or superficial? Aggro. Alright, so he is oh, so how... Yes. I was gonna say remember how uh, vampire felt like a uh, a cross between uh, fear and loathing and snatch. <laughs> this game is starting to feel a lot like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> As you throw that manhole cover, behold, this asshole is using fortitude. It, you very clearly hit him in the head with it, and you hit the mask, you damage the mask, as, but it, the manhole cover bounces off his head, spins, and then clatters onto the ground. And he's still standing. A rage point to pick him up and then throw him on the ground. Alright, make that strength and brawl attack. He's gonna suplex him. Uh... This is a grab... This is a grab, but given given that you've only hit him once, we're going to say it's difficulty 7. Difficulty 7. Would you uh, allow... You said what? Strength and Brawl? Strength and Brawl. Dexterity 7. I'm just going to use my suplex yeah. option. Ooh, why? Ooh! Yeah. Oh, that, that is, is messy, a, a, a dude. One. What the a fuck one. is that? <laughs> That's that is, so weird. That's four ones and three tens. <laughs> that is... So, so what that the hell is that? Uh, uh, yeah, he's slippery. He ducks underneath you as you try going for his head. He he goes prone. He's sitting as he ducks beneath your hands. Okay, that'll be his turn. All right. So, uh, forgot to have Jada move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, as he's going to jump onto the sushi bar, get low, and then peek through. All right, yeah. now we have we have Miracle Man attack. So he is going to raise his hand, and Grim, you see what looks like a black sigil forming in his palm Phew. as he goes in to attack you. That is. Two successes. I need a dodge roll, dexterity, and athletics. Difficulty seven to dodge that attack. Let's see, Grim, he strikes you. Roll soak. I'm assuming it's lethal. It is lethal. Difficulty eight. Let's see, difficulty, uh, difficulty seven. Bro, your See. dice just oh, hate okay. you that's today. Oh, that's yeah, they full, do. That's a full five damage from Mortis. Wow, I'm Superficial or aggravated. Aggro. So you you all know uh, My Hero Academia, right? Yeah, yeah, roughly. Yes. I do know. All right, so we'll post a little gift for maybe in the Discord chat. So Shigaraki's the K-Power. That's what he just oh, used. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's not good. Mm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so as you're struck with that, uh, Grim, all of a sudden, just the, all the flesh, well, not your leg, all the skin 
from beneath your ribs to your hips just disappears as your guts spill out of you. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna need to fix that, aren't I? That's fine. That's oh, five shit. activated damage. Yes. I'll, I'll use my willpower to uh, resist pain. Alright, resist pain. Alright, point spent. Yep. And posting in the Discord to show me PM what this looks like. Uh, yeah, it looks like this. So that was a pair of binoculars that he had in his hand. Now it's just dust. It's been load. Yeah, it's, it's right. loading. Tyler, Tyler, your move. You hear something splat on the ground. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How much movement I got? Nine spaces? Yep, nine spaces. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I gotta squeeze past the bird. Can I? Yes, you can. Uh, he is on the like... kitchen. Uh, he is on the counter, uh, spoiling the dinner with his bird with his bird feed. Uh, forty-five. That's nine spaces, right? Yes. Uh, you know, I'll take my action to dash just to get in the room, and I'll get right here. All right. And I'm gonna. Good fucking god, man. As you quickly run over there. <laughs> oh, the health department's gonna have had this fucking restaurant. You got wolf guts all over the floor. We can't have you operating here. Yeah. You gonna heal this guy? You gonna heal this? I use my bonus action. To, I use my action to dash. Uh, unless, of course, well, Mother's Touch then. is a, is a bonus action, which I don't think it is. You gotta, you gotta spend a rage to get another action. You know what, uh, do I- I only got one rage to spend, but I'll spend it. I will spend my last rage to heal, uh, I'm gonna, like, scoop up his fucking cuts and try and, like, stuff them back into his stomach with Mother's Touch. Uh, let's see, uh, that is... Spend Gnosis, and then roll Intelligence and Medicine, difficulty 6. That's also my last gnosis yes. as well. So I'm out of rage, I'm All out right, of gnosis. Make it count. Uh, intelligence and medicine. You right? need to go back home. Yes. Yeah, intelligence and medicine. You, you need to go back home and play with your raccoons to get more of this. That's I do. I do. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Banjo music. There you go. Alright, be right, behold, three activated damage healed as Grim, your organs seem to like leap off the ground and back into your stomach. As a bunch of like f very tender red flesh forms with mother's touch uh, area. You want to keep those inside you, you daft bastard. <laughs> Inside, outside, it doesn't really matter. Yes, right. it fucking does. Well, Alright, your move. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to move myself to here. Holy shit. Okay. In, be in between those two things. Starting and ending, I will shift to Hispo form. Alright. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to bite the panda. Alright. It's gonna be a pretty nasty bite. Let's see what you got. Okay, so that's see Dex this? plus Sprawl. Uh, dexterity, uh, dexterity and Brawl, yes. And then your damage is strength. You see, what's very fun about the Harbingers of Skulls is that they all have fortitude. In very high numbers. So we go to just so keep. These guys... Holy shit! Uh, so that's one, two. Okay, that's a bite. So that's difficulty six. One, two, three. Uh, taken away four, but that other nine. Four successes. He's got a roll dodge. Okay. One, two, two. As yeah, one, two, three. Uh, he, uh, yep, yep. That hits him. How much strength do you have in his bow? Uh, good question. I have a strength of seven in this form. Seven, I right, in the form. He has got to, let's see, four or two. Do not fail me now. Ouch, okay. So that is... Should be four. Four activated damage is taken. I yeah. created, okay. That, oh, let's get and it's from... all... And it's all being converted to fucking superficial because he's... Because, fucking fortitude. fortitude. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Almara, he's very chewy. We're trying okay. to bite this. 
try to bite to this guy, it feels like you're biting into like a raw, like a rare steak. That's just fatty enough that you can't pull it apart with your teeth. Well, that makes me unhappy. In fact, it enrages me. So I'm going to bite him again. Uh, uh, spend the rage to attack the right. second time. Please right. don't take the kill from Steve, from Grim. That. He needs this. We're going to steal as it. Long as I think he's fine. Is it? As it dies. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six successes with subtracting that one. I don't think I can dodge this. What the fuck, me? No, I can't. All right. That's seven more damage. Yep. All right. Ow. He is now taking lethal damage. Tyler sees that. He's right, just so looking at there... her like... Yeah. All right. And and now the arm comes off. The what? You rip his arm off. <laughs> I spit it out because I don't want uh, that shit in my mouth. Is E to Zio Twilly disgusting to eat a vampire? Is that against a litany, or is it just corruptive? It's it's just nasty. Why? Right. Well, th well, this technically isn't a human anymore, though, is it? Yeah, but at the same time, you don't want it, in you? Yes. And and now the satite comes out of obfuscate. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, they were good. Yeah. Oh, there she yeah. is. Yeah. I. Hello, Ragnar. She's going to step into the chest. Right. Uh oh. Uh, okay, that's a that's a critical success and a failure. That is, uh, I need a difficulty two dodge check from you, Ragnar. It's difficulty seven. And if I remember right, you don't have resist toxin. I do not. I need another uh, scuttle song that's not Roller Mobster. See. See, I don't listen to. Listen to okay. You'll, you'll like Hotline Miami. Uh, well, no, I music, like Hotline Miami. Like what are you talking about? Uh, you like it, but you don't like the music as much as me. That's because I don't listen to soundtracks all that often. I'm a bigger fan of Hotline Miami than you. Yeah, you probably are. I didn't That's like just... Hotline Miami 2 all that much. Uh, I thought that was the better game. I so you dodge that. Yeah. You will not be stabbed with a. F you will not be stabbed with the Fugu dagger. You bitch. All right. I was Chico. Just sitting down. Chico, we uh... got two parties. Uh, somebody just came out of a skate behind you. Well, up here is looking a little crowded, so might as well. Uh, is this a is this yeah, a yeah, solid just... wall or a bar? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a bar. You can like dive through this and like crawl onto the conveyor belt while it's turned off. Oh, I don't even need to use the con do that. <laughs> just gonna aim at the uh, woman and use my shotty. Yeah, nice shot. <laughs> All right. She's got to dodge this. Serpentis, do not fail me. Yeah, she dodges. Ah, damn it. Ooh. Um. Yeah, you know, Chico, after that, is going to then jump over our... No. He's going to stay right where he is. That will be Chico's turn. And do not worry about the police responding to a gunshot. They go, Those go off all the time in New York. Ran out your move. No, one good like turn deserves another. another. I will do some my dagger and take a stab at her. You take the stab. I'm going to change the song. Let's see, let's go with this. I'm typing faster than the music comes up. Okay. Oh. Ouch. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, yeah. She's taking that hit. She's going to roll. Holy this is going to be double, double damage and aggravated. 
This is what I get for trying to make a balanced uh, build. Yeah, so she's all uh, all right. So how much damage is this? It's double whatever the dagger damage is and aggravated. All right, that is your strength plus one with a dagger. So strength right. plus one. What mm -hmm. is that? Uh, 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 well, you know two, that but I'm in, but I'm in, you know, so that's six, seven. That's fourteen damage. I will. You end up killing her in one hit with that. Nice shot, mate. As, as you plunge that into her chest, she grips onto your wrist, and you, she doesn't turn to dust. She shrivels. She wasn't that old of a vampire. As she falls to her knees and drops down the ground. And I will take her dagger. Yeah. See, behold, you take it, and it smells like fuku. Yeah. yeah. Now I have two daggers. Aha. All right. See, Jaden will spend this turn hopping off the counter, flipping this woman over, and taking both of her eyes. Grim, your move. Fuck him up. Delicious One eyeballs. Uh, uppercut. All right. See, make the move. Take the shit. Uh, the, 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 the shit. It was difficulty six, right? See, difficulty seven. Uh, difficulty seven with the with the fist. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at that attack roll now, and holy shit, I don't think I'll ever roll that good again. Yeah, that was uh, fucking incredible. Before I do that, I am <laughs> going to Krinos. Krinos. Right. I'm spending the rage. Right, take the hit. Take the hit. There were th four crits. Holy shit. Yeah, that was wild, dude. Jesus. This is extremely deadly. You aimed right for the heart with that one. But... Meanwhile, we got this slippery bastard fortitude. Nope, you hit him. Oh. <laughs> stuck, behind, stuck between and, Elmira and uh, Grim. He's, he can't go much. This is four. Uh, it's ten strength. 10 strength. Okay, unless and I roll. Said brawl? Yeah, brawl. And it's your strength, your brawl. So combine those two. Uh, 14. And that number is. 14. 14 damage. Alright, so he dies even with that. I take his mask off. Unless you pull back that fist, you punch his, you punch his jaw. And the front part of his skull off with that, as along with the panda mask. As it flips, and his body turns to ashes upon final death. And he is dead as hell. Oh, God, and is that enough to look at that? Uh, it's like a breath of fresh air. Right, um, we should probably get rid of the panda costume, shouldn't we? Just chuck it downstairs. Uh... Well, hold on, hold on. Do you mind if I take that mask? Would you have the mask here? I know you swear it. Yeah. Uh... Huh. I guess you take that mask. Yeah. <laughs> What's the first thing you want to do with that? I don't know yet. Uh, I'm gonna shift back into Hamid for him now that we're out of combat. Uh... Actually, Tyler's going to lean down to the uh, fridge beneath the sushi bar and smell the fish, if it's any good. Yeah. Is there uh, any it's... rope wire? Uh, rope? So, looking around. Um, roll. You what do I want this roll uh, to be? Tyler's first. I want to see wits and investigation with you. In order to find stuff and fish, well, you're in a sushi restaurant. What do you think? Well, I just wanted to know if it was any good. If if it's like closed, uh, closed, or if it's like just closed for hours. You are a metis. That's the song I'm looking for. There it is. Yep. So, yep, no rope. And the thing is, uh. What form are you currently in? You're Stone Kronos? Yes. Uh, and same with Tyler? I shifted back to Hamid after the uh, after they killed the panda. 
I will shift back into Kronos, and then you can just eat the fish, no problem. Oh, I wanted to make something better. <laughs> yeah, and when you're Kronos, Hispo, or Lupus, uh, who gives a fuck? Meat is meat, eat it. Alright, fine. Kronos Farm, I'm gonna take out the fish, I'm gonna, like, just tear into it, and I'm gonna offer some to Grim. <laughs> yes. Uh, he's a little pissed off he can't find rope or wire, so he's gonna <laughs> take it and start eating. It's just cram it down your throat. Actually, when I'm here, is there any beer that isn't warm shite? Or is there a liquor bar somewhere? around here, and it's, and it's fucking Bud Light, Heineken, and Stella Artois. Are you fucking kidding me? A sushi bar and you couldn't even have the fucking decency to have fucking sad prune here, nothing like that. Eh, fucking shite. Uh, is there a bar around, though? See, while well, you're in New York. Well, no, I mean, like, is there a bar in the restaurant? Literally, uh, oh, probably. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, punch a hole in the wall and then walk over to the next building. Uh, you know what, fuck it, hug. I've got no cash on me, I left that all back, and my character's and always fighting today. Fuck it. Yes. I'll get some when we get back there, I'll steal some of Bacchus's wine. Because we got to talk to him anyway. See. Um, Amara, you stand next to the course? Yeah, I think I want to find that safe in Crockett. Cause... Yeah. yeah. As you see, Jaden is looking at his tasty eyeballs as he's sitting in the stool. And so when Crane is happy, he's going to look at you. Oh, oh, I've already got unlocked. It's in the office. Oh, okay. So where's the office from where I am? This building that I'm pinging right here. Okay. So oh, I'll right, head it's... over there and have a look. Let's see. Oh, by the way, it's the 4th. Uh, happy 4th of November. Oh, and this... The, uh... The woman is still, like, a shriveled corpse, correct? Yeah, yeah she wasn't... She's not that old of a vampire. All right, take that her. Said, she gonna, did... Yeah, Chico's gonna pick up the body just to... Dispose of it somewhere. Wait, take her, put her in the rest of the ponder suit, and then choke her in the dumpster. As we are severely missing up to vibration, being able to just destroy bodies. Oh yeah, we go to See, the cafe. Grim was gonna. <laughs> Grim was gonna hang her up and like gut her. Yes. So that he people know that the vampires will die. Put her on the table, make some sushi with it. But wait a minute, it wouldn't wouldn't that break the wouldn't that break the veil? Uh, well, if. It... Well, if it's gruesome enough, then it can just look like some sort of, like, crazed mass murderer. But yeah, but like, think about it. The energy are probably rotten. She's been a vampire for long enough that she looks like that when she died. Oh, uh, if it's masquerade, right. it's fine. Fuck, fuck, fuck vampires. <laughs> well, the bloke we talked to earlier didn't say nothing about the, uh... Didn't say nothing about the Velna, did he? Up yeah. To to grab us, let's grab a sashimi knife and start getting to work. Uh, Tyler's going to take and one from Elmira, the chefs and toss it to Grim. And Almira, you thief, we find $2,000 in cash. Uh, that is now my fat roll. Yeah. You pocket that money. And yet another restaurant gets robbed in New York City. Uh, not in uh, a you resort. Your, uh, If it's food, he'll eat it. Uh, yes, uh, yes, you just see, like, Tyler's over here taking fish from the fridge, slamming it down to the table, blood and all. Uh, Chico's playing with his panda mask, Grim, just whatever, spoils. Litany, you get the first of the kill, you get to eat all the fish you want before the rest of the pack does. I'm just kind of throwing it yeah. over to him until he's, like, full. And he's kind of, like, getting a couple scraps himself. And Sorry, Chico's moment. probably going to be trying to find a bunch of wasabi and soy sauce in this bitch. This is... <laughs> uh, for, for, for the torture later, right? The, the, the force-feeding wasabi torture. Hell no. Chico <laughs> just likes wasabi. <laughs> you're going to shite your guts well, out you're in a sushi not. restaurant. You're, at, you're oh, in a God. sushi restaurant, you find a shortage. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this smells like a dumpster and a wasabi now. Fuck. You, you shouldn't knock it to your truck. Right. 
It's no good. I'm like a little bit of a wasabi. In a proper way. Where you put it in, you put it in the soy sauce, and then you put it on the sushi. But no. I mean, that, that's later. I, I get excited and like to have a little appetizer before I actually eat my fish. I suppose if you don't get appetizers all that often, do you? Not often. Fuck, I know. All right, I'm gonna go get the uh, I'm really gonna go not. get the panda suit and just find a dumpster to chuck it in. Uh, and Reynard, Reynard, this sucks. <clears throat> your anti personal your anti-social personality disorder is going off. There's too many people having fun. Actually, I'm gonna search the panda yeah. suit. I'd probably just keep quiet. Yeah. Admire the uh, dagger I picked off that, that woman. You're looking at... Uh, let's see. Have you ever seen that Stargate? Yeah. Years ago. Yeah, so that that dagger. Alright, so sheet-wise, what does it do? So that's just a typical dagger, but at the moment, it's covered in fugu. Okay. So that's going to be uh, a little... So, for... For my own, uh, ah, son of a bitch. For my own edification, um, how much poison? Basically, how many stabs do I get with the poison? You get the one stab. Oh, it's okay. So one use. Got it. Yeah. Make sure you use it on something that can be poisoned. Got it. Let's see, copy that image. I know not everybody has seen the shows we have seen. Posting that in game chat. Yeah, that, that that dagger. I've seen a I've seen a little bit of Stargate, but not a not a whole lot. Yeah. Just for yeah. the audience's sake, there it is. Thinking about thinking pan suit. You go over to it. All right, Tyler, you start rummaging through it as Chico plays with the mask. Right. Is there any like fugu left in the fridge? Y yes is there like is it already pre-sliced or is there like a whole ass puffer fish in there there's, there's, there's a whole puffer fish that has been oh. sliced open oh. already by the setite that has taken the fugu poison before we can get it oh damn <laughs> alright so searching the panda suit what do and I need you see as Tyler's memeing around thinking about fish videos Yes. Seeing what. Well, he seeing just ate a bunch of fish. Here. So. Seeing what we've got on this panda, you reached around and. Hmm. Looks well, like a. Looks like a bunch of weird voodoo shit in his pockets. What in the fuck is this? Look around and it's uh, looks well, like a bunch of fetishes, but none that you recognize. I can't roll for them. Hmm. Yes, you can. This will be wits and rights. Wits and rights? Uh, do you mean rituals? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Rituals. Wits and rituals? I'm actually good at that, so. Hmm. Rolling the dice very slowly. I stand correct. Well, actually, no. I succeed. Okay, no. I got it. Let's see. So look at what we've got. There's a bunch of weird shit that we're looking at. So it seems that this guy has made some dolls out of clay. And he's just been carrying these around in his pocket. And this is freaky. And... Was there something about this guy having... You're thinking about it. Those ghosts that were pestering us in the... In the theater. Given that this guy... Chico identified what kind of vampire this is. And Chico, what you tell oh, me about the, the Harbingers? Uh, I actually don't know much about them. I know more about like another subsidiary, Sambi, which would be yeah. like, they deal with a lot of ghosts. So you, so we'll say that uh, you identify them as a Giovanni. Yeah, because uh, it would either be Giovanni or Hecate, there's no way Chico would know that clan. 
And, and Tyler, you live in New York. You know how Giovanni is. Uh, some Giovanni fetishes are out here. I think I know why there was yeah, ghosts so in the you... Umbra. Yep, you automatically put two and two together. This is how this guy was controlling his ghosts. Uh, okay. Uh, Tyler's going to put the dolls down in front of them and step sideways. Yeah. That step sideways indeed. Come here, Mel. I'll bear it back. Uh, difficulty? Alright, difficulty. We're rolling a difficulty. We're above ground now, so difficulty 8. Let's see. Ah, oh, fuck. Zero successes. Fucking yeah. waiver. Yeah, hold on, hold on a minute, he says as he goes nowhere and the elevator does not go down. Ah, oh, fucking nice. <laughs> Chico, just come here and pat me on the shoulder right quick. Chico goes over and pats him on the shoulder. You gotta look into his mirror, and then he can step sideways. Yep. Alright, step All sideways right. one more time. Right. Fire. There we go. Let's see. Let's see it? As you are stepping sideways. Let's see a little buffer happens. Look at your watch. It's gonna take about uh one minute before you step over. And the dolls are still in front of me? Yep, still in front of you. Alright. Well, I'm not for certain. If not, I've got to find a way to dismiss them. Hmm. So just changing this because why here's some Sun Hill. Right. Shift here and eventually Chico before your eyes. He steps sideways. Huzzah. Yeah. And where are we? Where are we, Tyler? We're in the Umbra. You're looking around and this entire area is filled with spider webs. Jesus Christ. This is what looks like inside New York City buildings in the Umbra. This entire place is covered in patterned spider webs. Fuck. I think I need to get the hell out of there. And uh, speaking of spiders, there's one. Mappy? Jeru detected. Fuck. You seen that the ghosts about, Matt? Scanning for ghosts. No ghost activity. Well, I guess that poor bastard used them up. All right, it's all I needed to know. You can go away now. Uh, Let's see, rolling, getting back, uh, getting back to the real world. Let's see, yep, you may roll Nessus again. This parent spire's just going to keep looking at you. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, it seems we're going to spend a little bit of time with the spider. Can you stop looking at me? I get noses shy. <laughs> yeah, he has no eyelids to blink with. <laughs> Could you fucking turn around then? Fucking. <laughs> Got them weavers up in everyone's business. <laughs> fucking freedom matter. Yeah. As you look, we look back into the real world. You see that Jaden is sitting on the counter Grim is your stuff in your face with raw fish and Grim by this point you've probably eaten everything on the table as Jaden sits and he's got six eyes in his hands as he's flipping the eyeballs between his fingers that's going to fucked up yeah well I'm thankful to have him at the very probably least. eat a couple pounds of fish and then stop and then come over here shift into beast form and then lay on this table so he's got the itis That's gonna cause death. <laughs> <laughs> That's Next my favorite line in that show. Next episode, That's we will be the best episode. Next episode, <laughs> we will take Grim to the Luther. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not called. It's called the Itis. Yeah, we'll we'll take him there. We'll oh, give yeah. him a Luther. Yeah. Luther Vandross what... is dead. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which point? <laughs> the. 
Sitting there after Grim gets the Itis, Jane's looking in his eyes, saying, So, I heard that you work at the Shadow Lords, as he looks at you, Reynard. Uh, define work. You have a little bit of access to information I get a famous what it typically get. Oh, I have access to the Shadow Lords, we could say? Yes. That seems like it's a fair estimation. And you're familiar with all this rat shit that's been going on? Losing the Sept of the Green to the rats? Yes. I, I can say I am a bit familiar at this point. Hmm. Where do you stand with the rat again? Um. I think probably neutral at this point. I think. <laughs> Neutrally good. You know, they're of the wild, but they're a little too wild. You can't live off chaos alone. So. Oh. Can you now? After all, you know Grandfather Thunder, right? Yes. You want to control the chaos, not let the chaos ring through free. True. So, we agree on how chaotic the world should be. I am thinking, being an associate with the administration, if you could follow me back to base outside of New York. Okay. I'll bite. These guys look like they're going to play with Bacchus for a little while, so to save you from listening to that fruitcake for longer than you have to, I'll take you somewhere you can get some real work done. Sure. I understand that my side projects sometimes take me away for a little bit, so yeah. I'll come along. <laughs> Jan's gonna look over his shoulder at you, Chico. You've just got like wasabi and soy mm -hmm. sauce bundled in your arms. I'm going to take one of your rank of ashes for a little while. It's administrative business. Uh, go ahead. I'm not the uh, tag leader, so I have no say in that. Yes, yeah, so your path leader is currently asleep with the Idis. Uh yeah. Reynard would probably look at, at uh, Chico and kind of say, keep an eye on Grim, by the way. He seems to have taken a bit of a shine to you. And uh, He looks over. How... Well, I, I, you see something I don't, but I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> um, with Grim, it's a little subtle who he takes a shine to, I suppose you could say. But, um... Just try to keep him in mind. He can be a little overzealous while I'm gone. More, and... Wait, more than usual? What I've seen so far? Or... <laughs> oh, you'll find out. I'm sure you'll do fine. And I'll pat him on the back and I'll say, see you later. And I'll just walk go away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, as, as you start moving, uh, Jaden is going to shift into raven form and sit on your shoulder as you walk. Grim's ears perk up as he hears that he's leaving. And kind of gives, like, like a, one of those, like, you know how dogs sneeze when they're happy? Like, one of those. <laughs> it's like he's been <laughs> off a leash. <laughs> oh, no. It's a hello snort. So I don't know uh, exactly what became of the corpse and the panda costume, but I think I want to make sure that the panda costume is on the corpse. Yeah. 
Yeah, as you, as you look over and there's... Yeah, Myra, you walk over, you see Reynard and our friend, the bird friend, walking. And... You are heading for the corpse? Yeah, I want to put the Pazmintic costume on it. Alright. So, so, easier way to dispose of them. You take the body of Tingles Blue and stuff him into the ashen corpse, the ashen costume of, of Miracle Man. And now we combine, two, we combine two bodies into one. Yeah, and then Grim wanted to, like, defile the corpse, uh, like, rip its guts out or something like that. Yes. Okay, so now it's an even more ridiculous spectacle because it's a disemboweled panda corpse. What knife shall we use first? Shall we use the, sh uh, sh the sashimi knife? Uh, I'm just going to use his claws, but whatever. Yep. See, we, we can either make a mess or we can make a masterpiece. I make a mess. Yeah. Alright, well, just, just shift the cross then. <laughs> Well, probably not that, uh, uh, Glabro. Become a giant woman, yeah. smash him. Okay, Tell well, we'll that's going to be Grim's department, but anyways. Alright. See as you can get a little bit of aggression out. Tyler, would you like to try to step sideways again? Yes, please. I'm getting sick of this fucking thing looking at me. You're looking deep into this refrigerator trying to use the five surface to step sideways. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, help a tray spider. Fuck off. Uh, and the spider goes away, and you are back in the real world. And he comes back to the look of fucking Elmira just ripping the fucking corpse and the panda suit apart. Jesus, fuck, what are you doing? Uh, just following up on Grimm's idea. Fuck's sake, you couldn't make it look a little bit more believable. Uh, this is obviously the work of a psychopath, so uh, that's all that we need to to leave behind. Fuck this is thirty years, you, you know. <laughs> Chico's gonna point up to. Besides, they'll think this is less murder, more a grave robber. Look how old. Who the fuck would bring the grave robber into a fucking sushi bar? Someone that would do this to a body in a sushi bar. <sighs> You fucking... Real psychopath. Alright, wait. <laughs> the fuck's Reynard gone? Uh, he had business with our uh, raven friend. Well, he's a bit of Korax. How much fucking trouble can he get into? More than usual, I imagine. Right, fuck it. I'm out of Noxus and I'm almost dead. Let's get back to Bacchus and talk to him. All right, you're on the move, and giving a little cliffhanger, explaining where Reynard is going to be for the next couple sessions. I believe we can turn off the music button entirely for this second for this segment. So, and this has been a crazy work week for me. I've been put on the experimental four day work week. How's that going? But nice for three days off, but I don't like waking up that early. Oh, yeah? I, I like coming in to work at 8, not 6. Yeah, it's, it, that makes Reynard, sense. Like, I got to be in the work. Renard, now would be a very good time to step sideways. Uh, yeah. I would do that. I guess I'd roll a Gnosis, right? Yep. yep. So I can't find what I I'm looking for. I actually finally step sideways. That's yes. Right. Step sideways. You did it. I will just look in. Just look at a window, and uh, and just any window you go to, you can just uh, step sideways into. You just need a reflective surface. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I have a mirror. I believe. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do have a pocket mirror. Mm hmm. Let's see. And pulling up a reference as to what I'm seeing. You're going to see Jaden up your shoulder. Uh, while he's in bird form with his little uh, bird foot. And he's going to say, uh, look up. 
uh, I would look up. Alright. So this is a fucking weird creature. Um, I'm trying to find a reference of what I'm looking for. The best I can do posting in game chat. Okay, so that head, but it's on a bird's body. <laughs> oh, that's, this is I a see. real... This is a real creature from the Book of the Weaver. Oh, what the fuck is that? Alright. Yep, Reynard, as you're looking at this, you're in the uh, Umbra. You see this bird. It's a bird that's got like a cell, f uh, cell phone flip phone for a head. And it's uh, l looking. Where are the eyes in this thing? This is looking around. And then it sees you. And then its head flips open. And it starts ringing as it flies towards you. Uh, I literally don't know what to do, so I'd probably just stand there confused. As this bird's gonna fly over to you, and fly in front of you, as it's got a message in front of it, accept call or decline call. I guess I would accept the call. See, as you click the call button, you hear from my voice on the other side. <clears throat> Reinhardt, how is the mission going? It's going. Little side checked at the moment, but little side tracked. You've been with this group for a little while. You've met with Jaden. Good, good. He's still alive. And your investigation into Mr. Shapiro. Do you believe he is colluding with Rat King yet? Uh, not at this moment. I don't have enough information yet, but I'm sure with some time we'll be able to find out what we need to know. Mr. Shaparo has disappeared from the uh, Coney Island. We will need to change strategy. Come to our office immediately. We need to get you into a disguise. Understood. I'll be in shortly. There is a protectorate portal that's in within the subways. We're sending you the coordinates now. As you say, you say that, he says that, a little text message appears on this bird's face with the address as to what stuff to go into. Um, alright, I'd probably take a look at that and follow the instructions. That's all you need to know. We'll discuss more when you arrive. Call dismissed. With that, the call ends. The bird's head closes, and he flies away. Okay. I start heading that way. And there he goes. Take care of his newborn baby, and that's where he's going to stay for a hiatus for a little while. All right. Good game, fellas. Hey, Ragnar's yeah. alive. Ragnar's alive. Yes. Happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's not my birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> anyway, fuck it. It's going to be my child's birthday. Have, have you thought of her a name, name or, uh, name? or do we, do we yeah. not get to know? Her, her... No, her name is, is going to be Nova. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. That's, that's a great name. Yeah. So originally, and it was my wife's idea, it wasn't even my idea, originally my wife wanted to name her Anarchy. And I thought <laughs> it was an awesome name because because you could call her Anna for short. Um, that could be your middle name, though. <laughs> I know. I wanted it to be her middle name, too. And I wanted it to be her first name. But she kind of got cold feet and she was like, I don't want to have to go through school with the name Anarchy and get picked yeah, on for it or something true, like that. That's true. I, I was like, yeah, but I don't really think it matters. And she could always call herself Anna if she wanted to. And she didn't want people to know her real name was Anna, okay? Yeah. But whatever, she didn't want to go through with it. So we and went with Nova. Nova's still and a pretty tight for, name, for the middle name. For the middle name, we're doing Valentina. So Nova Valentina, I think, sounds nice. Sounds like a freaking superhero name, dude. That's tight as hell. And double. It's a, it's a good pen name, right? Like, you could be an author with that name. Nova Valentina. And behold, the, 
And the talent agency will solve itself. Oh. Yeah. God, that's sick. All right, well, ex well, good luck, sir. And you enjoy fatherhood. Yeah, Let luck. us know how it is. Yeah, yeah good luck. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Happy birth. Yes. Happy birth. Before we go, uh, yeah. how much XP Comment for this day. session? <laughs> uh, how much yeah, XP for this yeah, session? How much XP? We avoided a fight with Ragnar, so we are going one extra point. We're going with three XP. Cool. Three XP. Okay. Let's hear for Got smooth 15. talking. Yeah. Again, as happy as I am that, because for a while I wasn't even concerned with uh, killing Ragnar as much as I was with Ragnar killing the party. <laughs> that's what my um, concern that's was. How, that's how we end with <laughs> Vigo. I am terrified of that monster. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's, I mean, it, like we said, um, there's still a chance that we're going to fuck this up and we're accidentally going to kill Vigo or somebody else. We're going to kill Elvis or we're going to kill fucking no, uh, Grisha and then we'll have to fight Ragnar when we're ready. This is. Ham is, <laughs> <laughs> is literally like Dr. Frank. Instead of facing down the, the monster he created right now. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yes. No. The, the only one. Who Why did I make it like this? The only one who can destroy our creations are the ones who created the creations in the first place. That's true. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I did read Frankenstein in, in middle school. It was actually a very good book. Yeah, the, the best was, was was quite good. The best moment of that book is I when. Oh fuck. Victor encounters the monster for the first time and freaks out. The monster says, "Yeah, I thought you were going to do something like that." <laughs> <laughs> I also highly recommend Young Frankenstein. Fantastic movie. I adore yes. Young Frankenstein. Man. Look, my yeah. both of my parents agree. Like it, their their hypothetical desert island movie, both of them is Young Frankenstein. Yeah, I've watched that film way. a it's dozen Mil times. Oh, the it, best it, way to defuse... It's probably Brooks and Gene Wilder is best, and that's saying a lot because yes. they've both done a lot of great shit. You need to say that entire you are not evil monologue to Vigo to get to defuse them so he will not attack you. And I gotta do it in my fucking Irish pikey accent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speaking of Sean, you saw going. the you saw the Count Dankula video I I sent you. Well, yeah, that was amazing, fucking... dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hundred and ten percent Tyler. Oh, it's so great, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording for tonight because I think that about tears it for yeah, this. Yeah, episode. before this crashes. All right, good night, everybody. Yeah.